How nice that you could join us, Skeletor. I trust I didn't interrupt something more important. Not at all, my dear Flog. I came as soon as I got your message. As you can see, I have assembled the cream of my mutants. What? Now? We just launched an assault a few days ago. Which is exactly why the puny guards manning the shield won't be expecting to see us back so soon. We're going in without the mothership. By the time they pick up our small fighters on the radar, it will be too late. Not bad, huh? Flog, your genius scares me sometimes. An ingenious plan, obviously. You don't seem thrilled. Oh, I'm thrilled. I, I'm thrilled. <gasps> but after that last attack, I'm a little tired. I keep forgetting he's not a true mutant. <laughs> <laughs> Mutants, man your ships. Let's move out. <laughs> Perfect. Primus will be so busy fighting Flog and his mutants that I can invade on my own and go one-on-one -on -one with He-Man. Scrap? They're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Join the Prima Space Force. Now, Kaz. I knew it. You don't think I'm old enough either? I didn't say that. I want to fight the mutants with Captain Hydra and Flipshot. Kaz, you know you can't. Why not? Because you're not ready for that yet, Kaz. I am ready, and I'm tired of being treated like a kid. I'm all grown up. Let him go, Trissy. He is young and in a hurry to be grown up, as I was when I was his age. I know what you're gonna say, but I don't care. I want to join the Primus Space Force now. Kill a few Telks, cats. I helped you before. You know I can do it. Listen, Kaz. Look, you did help us before, and you were very good. But this isn't the place for a young boy. I'm tired of being a young boy. Gleep's picked up a massive attack on the shield. I've already alerted Hydron and Flipshot. By the power of Eternia? Somebody who is worthy of me. And what a handsome partner, too. Just me and my Skeletor pounding down the Primus door. Me and my twin. Trouble, that's what He Man's in. <sighs> Tiring, but ooh, so worthwhile. It's always nice to have an ace in the hole. Quake. To what do I owe this honor? I just heard Flog's going to attack Primus. Where is he? It seems Floggy has left both of us behind. Tell me, my unappreciated mutant, what would you say to us combining forces and launching our own attack upon the shield and conquering Primus ourselves? What's in it for me? Ooh, I 
like the way this boy thinks. Yes, yes. How does Quake, ruler of the tri Silver Galaxy, sound? Yeah, sounds good. That's the spirit. <laughs> Come with me. Infiltrate the shield and conquer Primus. King Quake has a nice ring to it. We should reach Sector 15 11 shortly. I knew they'd only have a few fighters guarding the hole after we attacked yesterday. Get your heart out. <laughs> I'll take the right flank. I've got the left. Mothership, no Skeletor. Something's wrong, I don't like it. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Watch this. Sons are too back. What has Gee, I'm good. Hybrant to base. Attackers repelled. But fighters at hold 48 15 report a single ship made penetration. Red alert! Find that mutant fighter and send him running back to Moon Nordor. What's this I see? I must have done something right today. <laughs> but then again, I do every day. Look out, mutant! Commander Kaz rules the sky! Let's blast him! Gently, gently, Quake. A king must use his brains. The child presents a real opportunity. I say we take him. We shall. One must be flexible enough to adjust to the sudden good luck we. The 
real fun begins. <laughs> His great attack on Primus. I guess Flog must have gone to Gorn City for some rest. What are you gonna do with me? Why, nothing, child. I'll fight you if you come near me. Oh, no, 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 please, no. What do you want? Have no fear, my boy. I'm going to send you back to Primus, like the gracious host I am. No need for that. Why, what's the matter? Are we feeling a little sick? Just a little virus to keep you subdued. The perfect bait to reel in He-Man. He will come begging on his knees for me to save the boy. What do you want, Skeletor? I thought you might be interested in a certain missing boy. It's Kaz. What have you done with him? Why entertain him, that's all. It seems he wanted to pay Skeletor a visit. But alas, despite my best efforts to welcome him, the boy has come down with an illness. Sadly, <laughs> we don't seem to be able to cure him. Call off your guards at the shield. I will bring the boy to you. Very well. I'll meet you on the oasis near my home. Until then, toodaloo! I think it best that He-Man be part of the welcoming party. The thought of my brother was Skeletor. Skeletor will deliver him, Drizzy. What he plans after that is another question. We'll have our answer soon. All right. As promised. Is this all you came for, Skeletor? I came to fulfill my part of the bargain, and so I have. Till we meet again, He-Man. seems to be working. Maybe if we try my new biomolecular resuscitator. Gippo, this isn't the time for one of your scatterbrained inventions. I was only thinking of Kaz. I know you were. We all are. But think smarter. Is he going to be all right? Is he, Alcon? Oh, I hope so, Trissy. We're working with an unknown virus. It's something Skeletor did to him, isn't it? I don't know. Whatever it is, there's got to be an antidote. Better contact Sebrian. They're doing all they can for Kaz, but they suspect Skeletor contaminated him with some virus that they can't identify. So that's it. Get Skeletor on the vision phone. I need to speak with him. You know he's trying to trap you, don't you? Have we a choice? Called? How nice. All right, Skeletor. We know you gave Kaz the virus. Now please, give us the antidote. Ah, this is what I live for. It's so good to hear you begging. What do you want? Nothing much. In fact, what I want is simple. I want your sword! Uh, and no tricks, if you want the boy cured. When and where? Oh, let's say tomorrow. Well, he'll be fine until then. Bring him to the oasis. Shall we say midday-ish? <laughs> it's okay, Zor. Kaz will be better. What a lovely...
lovely place for a picnic. Next time, I'll bring the ants. Let's get on with it, Skeletor. There's one little thing I must ask of you first. If you want the boy, hand over your sword. Hand over your sword, or the boy remains as he is forever. First, remove the illness. Fair enough. I'll take you at your word. Where am I? Kaz! See? I've kept my part of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Hand it over. You can't! Hand over your sword as you promised! <laughs> Take it back to the ship. It'll be my fondest pride. I'll cherish it forever. But the only thing left is to take care of He-Man. No sword, no power, no He-Man. Now you are mine! to win. Ah! Now power return to the sword. Continue to serve the most powerful man in the universe. It is back where it belongs. We knew you'd beat Skeletor, He-Man. We all owe you so much. You should have seen it, Zord. He-Man didn't even need a sword. But how did you know which Skeletor was which? The real Skeletor squinted when the suns were in his eyes. It's not always the strongest who wins, Kaz. Knowledge can be as powerful as a sword. Be a good student and learn. It'll help when you're ready for the Prima Space Force. Hi, Rot. Drusy wants to buy some Luma pairs. Sure, Kaz. You can keep an eye on things here while I help her. This looks like fun. Whoa! I thought I knew how to work it. Don't ever try to operate a machine unless you know exactly what you're doing. Ask someone who knows how to use the machine before you even go near it.